Nature established him as an order. It will test that order. They will fight. The Islanders, they call this apex predator Kong. Kong isn't just a dumb ape. He will conquer us if we let him. Hey there Kaiju fans, it's CreationZilla here again for another video. This is a semi-unboxing, semi-pickup. Went to a, uh, got paid today, so went to a local store. And I picked up, um, from 4 Year Entertainment, I picked up another NECA figure. Now, I've got the 2014, the Burning, and the 94 version of Godzilla. So I'm missing the video game version. The 95 version, or the, the 54 version, excuse me, and the 84 version. So I picked up the newest of the NECA Godzillas. The NECA Godzilla 1954. So I'm going to attempt to get him open. There we go. Starting point. Oh, there we go. Just gotta start that blister pack and then work it out on its own. Backs a little bit, but uh, NECA's are not one of the companies that I buy for their boxes. So there's some of the box right that actually looks pretty neat. Uh, I might keep that, might not. Oh, okay, a little more. Thank you for twisting. Oh, alright, there we go. And now this NECA, so far, is looking pretty beefy. And I will pull out the others for uh, size comparisons later on. Alright, well, let's take care of these. Twist ties, which are usually annoying, but uh, neck neck is pretty good on there. Uh, twist ties. All right, let's get that off of that tail segment. How are we gonna get it? Uh, we're gonna pull it up. Alrighty, we got it to the back. So. Okay, so tail is out. Oh. You guys can't see that. Trying a different setup. Mainly because my main reviewing table is uh, put up right now. Used it for something else the other day. Actually, it's being used for uh, the big film that I announced in my last video. Godzilla vs. King Kong Duel of the Titans. And speaking of that film, if you guys follow me on Facebook, which if you don't, you should because I post a lot of updates there. Casting has been confirmed for My Godzilla vs. King Kong. Yeah, I said casting. I am going... Oh, there's something on his foot. I'm going to have... Um, a couple of my friends are going to help film, and one of them actually is an actor, so he's, he's the main feature of the film. Let's see. Actually, it's in my last... In my uh, latest video... I just went up minutes before I started opening this guy. Uh, Brandon Games All. Uh, he's going to be starring as... Hmm. Can't think of the character's name off the top of my head. Um, he's going to be starring as the guy Jack Black played in King Kong 2000. The uh, Peter Jackson Kong. Let's, oh, Carl Denham. He's going to be playing that. And then... Um, Veterans of the channel. Oh, jeez, he, he's standing. Veterans of the channel will know and recognize the name. Um, either Silent Pikachu or the Shiny Gengar. He's a good friend. D used to do some collaborations with him back when his channels were both up and running. Uh, he he's on a break right now. He's getting some stuff. Figured out. Uh, all right, let's get this tail on. Uh, 
But uh, he's going to be in it as well. He's going to be taking place of Aaron Taylor Johnson as Ford Brody. Yes, this is a... It's actually both a sequel to King Kong... Uh, sorry, the tale was hard to get in. King Kong 1933, so Willis O'Brien's King Kong. And Legendary Pictures, Godzilla 2014. Or just Godzilla. He's got... Oh, uh, I'm playing with him a little bit off screen to make him a little more presentable for the your guys' viewing. He's really stiff, but that's because it's cold out here. Fall just started, and fall here feels like just pre-winter. I mean, that's kind of like what fall is, but... So far, so good. Hmm. Got the NECA 2014 copyright on him, even though he is a NECA 2015 release. But I guess he was sculpted in 50-50. Last year, I'm thinking of 54 because this is the figure. And my gosh, is this figure beautiful. Uh, this isn't going to be real, this little unboxing, and you guys know with my unboxings and hauls and stuff, I like to draw them out. Uh-oh, one of his knees is stuck. So he will definitely get some playing around with to get used to. Looks like there might be a couple of hidden joints. But you know, NECA's, I've had a little bit of trouble in the past with my first Burning Godzilla, which broke, which I still have, and then NECA was kind enough to send me the replacement after I explained the situation to them. And no, I did not break it. It was... came like that in the box. I just did not know the head was going to pop off. Okay, yeah, that, that's... There we go. So he can bend down, do that creepy gap. So, get, like most of the NECAs, you just gotta be careful. I mean, the spines are very flexible and individually sculpted, so you should be fine if you decide to play around with him. So let's actually get all three, and then we'll throw in a NECA kaiju that isn't Godzilla. So here is the 2014 Godzilla, which is actually quite the opposite of the size situation. He should be looking up at him, and he should be looking down on him, but here they are together, and he is, he's wide, he's very wide. He's a very big figure. Yeah, he should be not even on screen, Godzilla 2014, size-wise. Now let's get the 1994, or Heisei-era, NECA Godzilla out. And, again, taller. That scared me. It popped. I. Oh, well, look at that. Okay, luckily he went back on easily. Yeah, I don't I don't like the NECA heads. So he's got the shortest tail out of all of the Godzillas, but 
there they are, width-wise. Now let's grab my used-to-be favorite NECA figure, but um, yeah, he, he's replaced now. <laughs> it is my NECA. Hang on, let me get him out of his pose. My N NECA uh, Burning Godzilla. There we go. And then here's how they compare sideways. The NECA Burning Godzilla used to be my favorite because I love translucent and figures. And for those who don't know, Burning Godzilla is my favorite incarnation of the king. The monsters. In my opinion, and if you watch the films, you would probably agree, the strongest incarnation of Godzilla. So here is my very broken NECA Gypsy Danger, and he is, they could fight. So obviously he he scales well with the other figures, he's just not um, accurate. Because he would, out of everybody I've showed, he would be half if not three times smaller. Let's grab a SH Monster Arts from a different line. Which I mean, not Godzilla. And let's grab the closest thing we can get to a Showa counterpart, which would be Baradon. So undoubtedly one of the smallest kaiju, Baragon, a lady's favorite monster. Due to his, uh, quoting from Wikipedia, his adorable face. So there he is in comparison to the original King of the Monsters. The guy who started it all for us and gave us so many things. Star Wars, Pokemon. And I'm not making this up. Look it up. And, ooh, Gamera. Guardian of the Universe. Another thing given to us by this guy. And I honestly... I probably like Gamera a little more than I do Godzilla. But... So yeah, my... Um, might do something with them too. But uh, you will definitely be seeing him in some sort of test reel stop motion. But you'll be seeing all four, yes, all four of my NECA Godzillas in next year's Godzilla Sun. Which will be... Might be in the same universe as Godzilla vs. King Kong Duel of the Titans. I'm thinking it might be a prequel film, which would actually lead to more prequels and sequels. So, here he is the NECA Godzilla 24 or 2014, 1954, only six years off. Six inch action figure. Before we go, since he's a Showa Godzilla. Can't have a show of Godzilla without doing the most infamous of the Godzilla acts. The jump. The Godzilla jump. So that is all, Kaiju fans. Stay strong. Hey there Kaiju fans, it's Creation Tool here with another video, and today it is Box Day. We've got a nice box from none other than HobbyLinkJapan.com. This is actually a Christmas gift that is quite a few days later than Christmas. 
Uh, before we get started, I've got a new setup. Uh, I'll go in more into more depth with this setup once I do my collection update because a lot has changed. But uh, this is a display case that I recently acquired and it is disp displaying my more expensive figures. So my Ultra Axe, my SH Monster Arts, my Rebel Tech, and now my Figmas that I have. And then Christmas lights around for the festive holiday setup. So uh, for the, the rest of the unboxing videos, at least for now, will be in this general setup. Uh, I think that's everything. So yeah, let's get started with this unboxing video. As you can tell from the title of this video, this should... Well, <laughs> I'm hoping I know what the title of this video will be. But... Nonetheless, that's from the computer. Yeah, I have a new computer that I can use now. Somebody got a new one for Christmas, so I got a hand-me-down computer, which doesn't make noise when it's on right now, like it is now. If you can remember from some of the GFIS videos, it was quite a noisy contraption. Now, I will not be going as in-depth with this unboxing video. I started to watch a few other unboxing videos on YouTube, and I found people don't really take it out of the box. Well. They'll take it out of the box, but they don't do all the comparisons and stuff. That's more along the line of a review. Actually, let's see. Oh, Alrighty, so we got a piece of cardboard covering the front of this. Just a shipping notice and a thanks for shopping with us. This was actually a figure that I requested for Christmas and it was pre-ordered. So, this is... Let me take off that little gift receipt. Say thank you for shopping with us. This is none other than one of my favorite characters from the show, Sword Art Online. You guys are seeing the actual figure itself first. This is the LAO Undyne Asuna from Sword Art Online 2 and the uh, extra edition episode. Behind me, which is on the third shelf, so you can't see, I got um, Figma, the um, Season 1 Figma Asuna for Christmas. And now I have number 2. Oh, wow. So she comes with wings with this figure. So, yeah. Number 264. I'm really liking the Figma. They are a lot smaller than I thought. And uh, I don't plan on doing anything like Sword Art Online versus Godzilla or anything like that, but um, more once I get more Figmas in the future, I would like to do uh, some sort of crossover video to where I have the Kaiju be Kaiju size and the People be People size, but I can't really do um, a video like that with two fictional characters from a video game. Maybe I could fit Asuna in there, but I'm not too sure about Unain Asuna. So, that is it for this video. Stay strong, Kaiju fans.